Hey, do you have Angel Olsen's Big Time on vinyl? Yup, right through that door. Great, thanks. It looks like a dark basement. That's where it is. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Morning, DJ. I just had the best shower. Good. Guess what, Rugburn? Uh, what, DJ? I caught you a hipster. Uh, you did what now? I caught you a hipster. Where, DJ? Where's the hipster you caught? <laughs> DJ, we, uh, we discussed this. It's really sweet. I know your heart's in the right place. But we can't do that anymore, remember? We need them to buy stuff, according to Jenny. But I thought you liked it when I caught you hipsters. I do, DJ. I really do very much, but it's nice to actually make money, you know? So... Well, don't be sad, DJ. Okay, all right. How about just one more for old times? Yes, I'm going to catch you one more hipster, Rugburn, a really big one with a beard. Okay, DJ. Hi, you don't happen to have the Childish Gambino Record Store Day release, do you? Damn. She looks like Lucy Lawless, Warrior Princess. My God. She could absolutely crush my skull with her thighs, and I would absolutely let her. What the fuck did she just ask me? Damn it. Did she ask where the children's music was? Is that what it was? No. God, I hope not. No, she asked if we have the gambler? Was that it? No. Look at her thick hair. Look at those delicious tits. What did she ask? I can't keep staring at her. I have to answer her question in the next five seconds. Five, four, three, to... Why am I counting? God damn it. Oh, and there she goes. Fuck! How long has he been here? Uh, like an hour. Maybe longer. What is he doing? Uh, clearly he's battling invisible ninjas. What kind of drug does that? I don't know. This seems like something new. Well, ain't nobody coming in the store with that cardboard man creeping everyone out. Well, what should we do? 911 emergency. How can I be of assistance? Hello, my name is James. I'm the owner of the business at 47th in Chicago, and uh, we have a gentleman here in front of the store. Description. Uh, yeah, he's he has uh, black curly hair, brown deadish eyes, wearing a shipping box. Well, goddamn, do you got a homeless Jew? A Jew? No, he's not. I mean, I guess he technically could be. Um. I always get mixed up. I don't know if it's like a race or religion. What color is his skin? Oh, uh, it's brown. Okay, good to know. Send in a squad, okay? 911 emergency, what can I help you with? Hello, um, I'd like to order a pizza. Oh, Jesus Christ. This isn't a pizza place. How drunk are you? Yep, that's right. A a cheese pizza. I'll give you the address right now. Please hurry now. Well, I hope you got some M Garoppa at home. Because <laughs> we're not Domino's. This is the Minneapolis the Police Department. No, wait. 911 emergency. How can I be of assistance? Yo, yeah, we have a robbery in progress between 3rd and Martin Luther King Boulevard. Man with a gun. Martin Luther King Boulevard, you say? Hmm, yep, we'll be right there. <laughs> yep. All right, grab that broom and poke him. No way. You just want me to shoo him away uh, because he's a black guy, and then you're going to film it and post it on the internet or use it as blackmail or something. What? No. Hey, cardboard man, uh, can you just go somewhere else, please? 
Sir? Sir? Use the broom. Ah, where are the cops? They ain't coming. Use the broom. You use the broom. You think I'm about to shoot where, brother? <laughs> nope. Well, we gotta do something because we have an in-store in 25 minutes. And if it doesn't happen and uh, people don't show up, uh, we lose three grand worth of business, Ellis. Yeah, who are you telling this to? Get the broom. Fine. 911 emergency. How can I be of assistance? Help. Help. Cardboard man got me. He's squeezing me. Oh. Please help. Please help. Oh, wait. I see you. Officer. Over here. What's the situation? Uh, I, I'm okay. Uh, somehow, even though he had me in a headlock, all the bullets missed me and only hit him. Uh... Sounds like another happy customer. Have a good rest of your evening. 911 emergency, how can I help you? Hello. I'm on the Ford Parkway Bridge and I'm going to jump. Okay, why'd you call the police? I'm sorry? Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Bye-bye. God, it feels good to be a cop again. It's a mine gorilla. What was it? Is someone in here? Hello? I enjoy swinging quite a bit. Hello. I was the quiet one. Is that you, George Harrison? It was, as it's always been. Hey, George. Did you hear Paul made a movie in the 80s? What's this now? Yeah. Our old bandmate Paul decided to re-record a bunch of our songs, and then he put them in... The most daft movie you could ever imagine. Our songs? Don't remember you doing much on them, actually. Chill out, Paul. Let it be, mate. Peace and love. Shut the fuck up, dick. That's Richard to you. What in the world? <laughs> Is this happening? I'm not even high. <sighs> oh, fuck. All right, here we go. Hey, Paul, I heard you went to jail. What happened to the judge here, Ebony and Ivory? Hey, John, how come you stopped making songs in 1980? Oh, fucking right. I sent him. I sent him to come from the future to kill me because I heard temporary secretary and I wanted to fucking die. None of this matters anymore. The important thing is me song, Here Comes the Sun, is the most popular Beatles song of all time. Fuck off with that. It's fucking not. Does that bother you? George being better than you. Hey, I already wrote one of your songs, John. Imagine there's no Lennon. 1981. Fuck. It's okay to be second best, Paul. Or in this case of the Beatles, fourth best. Oh, below Ringo, fuck. Don't make me blue. As you know, darling, I love only you. Shut up, dick. Peace and love. I wrote the song like a Rolling Stone. We are the Rolling Stones. Go make more disco twat. Hey, John. Haven't seen you around the clubs lately. Oh, look at that. Weird, Mick. Paul already did that joke. Of course, you know all about stealing from people. Well, that hurt. What are we doing here now? What are, what are you looking at? It's the battle for the king of the 60s. It's the Beatles versus the Stones and Dylan and who else knows, I don't know. I'm not following. Like, I'm not hearing any or seeing anything. What's going on? Did you try the new stuff from Benny? Uh, God, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember smoking. Oh, fuck. The Beatles are the best band of the 60s. This isn't even up for debate. Well, yeah. 
But some of us kept rocking wrong after the 60s, mate. And some of us made a bunch of silly love songs. Oh. I'm the Guinness Book World Record most popular songwriter of all time. You melted fucking skeleton. Oh. I wrote visions of Johanna. Paul's right. The Beatles were the best. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Is he having a laugh? Are you sure about that? <laughs> You're all whack as shit. Let Jimmy take over. You see, when I show up, things get a lot cooler. You notice that? I do, Ellis. Man, feels weird being inside one of these. Thanks for letting me tag along, Gary. Not a problem, James. And thank you for the edibles. Yeah, uh, I was actually surprised to hear you operate this thing while stoned. For me, it makes me sharper. Like a night owl, hunting its prey beneath the snow, scurrying rodents. Yeah, owls are cool. <laughs> I know how to speak owl, actually. I can speak, uh, it's an old joke. I know I don't usually contact you to just hang out, but since Ellis got married, he doesn't really want to go out as much, and like, I always thought you could be kind of fun to hang out with, right? You're kind of a lone wolf guy, and I know- I'm not sure what type of friend you're looking for, but I must stay up front. I can only be me. I don't change for anyone. I'm Gary. Until the end. I'm not asking you to change, Gary. I was just bored and Ellis made some fish last night and it stunk up the whole building. It smells like shit. I once ate so much fish, I got mercury poisoning. I hate fish. Gross. Do you remember David Garrett from high school? We didn't go to the same high school, Gary. Well, that red car up ahead is his. Whoa, holy shit! David Garrett joined my softball team two years ago. We played Thursday nights, traveled out of state for tournaments, stayed at hotels with swimming pools. Really great memories were made. But then, this last summer, David Garrett kicked me off the team. Replaced me with Tony Suarzo, who happened to be the same Tony Suarzo who locked me in the girls' bathroom freshman year. I loved playing softball. Now David Garrett doesn't have a car anymore. Look, I think most people right now would be actually pretty terrified of you. But if I'm being completely honest, you are my goddamn hero. Hey, I noticed you have a notebook next to you. That wouldn't be a... It's a list of names. Yup, fucking right. It's a list of names of people who made the wrong decision at some point. I call it the Dupa List. And David Garrett was a Dupa. I have a dupa list too. But mine doesn't have a snowplow. Oh, I wish I had a snowplow. If I did, my god, how things would be different. Give me an example. What would you do if you had a snowplow? When I asked you... What would you want to do with a snowplow? I guess I thought you would want to exact sweet revenge on your foes. But a really big sledding hill in Target parking lot is pretty cool too. Yeah, you know what, Gary? I'm, I'm trying to not be such a demon all the time, you know? 
I'm trying to control my anger and make better choices and uh, stop being butthurt all the time, basically. Yeah. Well, good for you, James. Personal growth is the hardest growth. <laughs> it's kind of funny. What is funny? You said hardest growth. I did. I now get the joke. If you don't mind, I think I'm going to take a little trip down Target Mountain. Me too, Gary. Wee. Wee. Hey, Gary. I had a lot of fun tonight. Thanks for letting me hang out and uh, help you plow. Not a problem, James. I had a pretty sweet time, too. <laughs> Chet, Gary, you hit someone. I know. You don't recognize Tony Suarzo? Oh, that's right. You didn't go to our high school. Damn. I should have went to the gas station off Hiawatha. This one's so expensive. Yeah, Larry and Steve's are always fancy ass. They got an arcade inside and a grill that goes until nine. I don't get it, though. Who would want to hang out at a gas station? Well, they got a garage, so, like, people are waiting to get their tires and oil changes and shit. Well, I'm only putting in $5. I'll go fill up somewhere else that's cheaper. How much you end up saving going somewhere else? I don't know, probably like three bucks or something. Why are you being a bitch about money? Because I don't have any money, you asshole. Don't do that. Uh, I'm just not getting paid anything at that stupid pen place. I can't wait to quit. Yeah, I feel that. I gotta quit that booze. I wasn't done. I wasn't done. I was gonna say something, but go, you go. Yeah, like I was saying, I gotta get out of that moving place. I've been fooling around with the owner's wife. Fooling around? What does fooling around mean in this case? Anal. What? You did that? Yup. Wow, I've always been curious. Did it hurt? Oh, uh, no, not really. Oh, so you've done it before? You need to rewind your thought process and play it back in your mind. Oh, you put it in her butt. That makes sense, too. We going to get that gas, or what are we doing here? Should I go inside and play some Street Fighter? Oh, yeah, right. Hello, I'm Maria Menendo, and this is today's Celebrity Talk. Lindsay Lohan has been involved in a car accident on the way to her upcoming film, Liz a Dick. This is not the first time the child star has oh, been Oh shit, the I news. forgot. Last Arr, time this is what you wanted, isn't it? What sick corporate fuck lord came up with this stupid TV next to the thing that takes money by the second? I hate this stupid fancy fucking gas station. Fuck you, Larry and Steve. Hello, I'm Larry Jenkins. What's the problem here? Are you not having a wonderful time at our state-of-the-art automotive experience? Uh, yeah, it's just your gas is so expensive, and Maria Menendo was wearing that shirt with the boobs under it, and I forgot to stop it from filling all the way. How about a free mushroom and Swiss burger on the house? Oh, yeah, get me one of those, too. I'm his best friend. <clears throat> and that was the, uh, first time you called me your best friend. Of course, you were just... <laughs> trying to get a free burger, I suppose. But, uh, I counted it. Yeah. I'm glad I got a chance to come see you. I just wish it was a little sooner, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Remember when DJ used to, uh, Get us free tacos in high school? <laughs> Actually, just talk to him. He, uh, he's coming to visit. He's actually the person who told me to come. I guess I know why now. Um, well... I already told you everything on the phone last week that I wanted to say. 
So, I guess, I guess I'll let you sleep. <clears throat> Hey, you better not mess with my wife up there, okay? <laughs> Seriously though, don't. <sighs> Hello James, long time. DJ, how'd you know to tell me to come? You already know the answer to that, James. Yeah, I suppose I do. You need to go back. What? Back where? You need to go back and get a book and destroy it. Who are you talking about, DJ? Since you've become perma-smart, I can't... James, you need to go back and destroy this book. The man who wrote it has sparked the atrocities that have dominoed into the desperate state of affairs that the world is in right now. Without the book, the world can still be saved. Like a butterfly effect thing? Yes, like that. But why me, though? Why can't you go back and destroy this book? You're the only person to have ever seen the book. It must be you. Plus, I've used up all my trips. I only have one more to give. So if I go back in time, I stay there. It's a one-way trip. I could have kids this time. As long as you get the book and destroy it. Yeah, you've said it a bunch of times, DJ. I got it. Book. Kill it. Okay. What you're asking is a big thing, okay? Do I want to go back? How do you know this, DJ? How do you... How is any of this possible? Because, James, I'm very, very smart. Yeah. You kind of always were. All right, so I could go back and uh, do it again. Okay. I'll go. I know, James. It's the reason I found you in the first place. Found me? You are gonna go back to the year 2023 when you are the age 42 years old. Okay, so right before I meet Clara? Yes. Will I remember any of this? No. You will jump into your life again and you won't know anything that comes after. The only thing you will remember is you need to find that book and destroy it. Hey, DJ. Not sure how this whole alien magic thing works, but can you make me younger? Like, when I go back, can you make me 32 instead of 42? Yes, I can make you younger as a reward for saving the world. Can you make Alice the same age, too? Because if we're not the same age, then we might not be best friends. Okay. But I still want to be born in 1980, okay? So, like, I want to turn 32, like, when I normally would, and then just stay 32 for, like, 10 years. Okay? Both Alice and I. Okay, Rugburn. That solves a lot of issues. Nice. Are you ready, James Rugburn? Are you ready to find that book and save the world? I am, DJ. All right. Oh, wait. What book am I looking for anyway? It's called The Dupa List. Tonight's top story. Two more local men have gone missing, bringing the total to seven since this worrying trend started last summer. Authorities are no closer to solving this mystery as leads on the case have been slow coming in. With these new disappearances, Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Bake had this to say. 
I stand by the Minneapolis Police Department in the search for the person responsible for these heinous acts. I also want to add that if you give me a follow on the gram, I will give you a shout out at the next briefing. Tonight's winner is Chris Acab. Acab. Oh, A C A B. Oh, very funny, guys. Leave my friends alone. The latest victims have been identified as David Garrett and Tony Suarzo. If you have any information, please contact the police hotline. Hey, Ellis. Yo. I know who did it. Did what? The reason all these people are disappearing. All right. Who did it? Do you remember Gary? Do I know Gary? Yeah. Is he the one with the mustache? No. Is he the other one with the mustache? No mustache. All right. Hmm. Oh, is it the dude that says sweet all the time? Yep. And he has a snowplow. That's what he uses. Uses? What does that mean? Yeah. He uses his snowplow as a deadly weapon. Those people aren't missing, Ellis. They're snowed in. Forever. Yeah, but why do we know Gary? Uh, I think he's more of a Dewey Dave buddy, actually. Oh, okay. Here's another question. How do we know Dewey Dave? Bar. Oh, yeah, that's right. How much do they say you get if you uh, give information out about him? What do you mean, like a reward? Yeah. I don't think there is one. They didn't mention it. Well, that's too bad. No, no. We can't just let him stay out there killing people, Ellis. Why the fuck not? What's our incentive on doing the police job for him? If they ain't paying my ass, I'm not doing shit. But that makes us accomplices. The fuck it do? I was just half watching the news and thinking about Jenny's Frito casserole when you started laying this shit on me. Nope. Go be Columbo on your own time. I already know how to stop him. I just have to get his book and destroy it. What book? He has a list of names, Ellis. He calls it the Dupa List. Detailed descriptions of the people who wronged him and their current weekly routine. Remember that morning show host from the stand? Corey... What was it? Corey something. Corey Burrell? Cocaine Corey. Cocaine Corey. He was in the book, Ellis. And guess what? He was found dead two years ago underneath a pile of snow at the end of his driveway. Guess who also worked at that station? Gary did. I remember now. Remember when I got interviewed over there? I do remember. I do remember. You didn't let me come. Remember you didn't let me come. Stop saying that, bro. Come. Well, fuck you for that. Anyway, all we have to do to end Gary's reign of terror is destroy the book once and for all. That's a horrible idea. Why? No, it's not. You're not thinking about it. Think about it. This dude is taking out all his enemies one by one. And then one day, all of a sudden, his future enemies all disappear. He doesn't know anything about them anymore because he doesn't have his list. But there's someone, a new enemy... He's going to put right on the top of this next list, so I would not take his book. Well, I wish you would have told me that yesterday. Look at the dumbest motherfucker in the whole wide world. I am, aren't I? Oh, for sure. Gary is going to smush your ass to death. Uh, what am I supposed to do, Ellis? Should I tell the police? <laughs> 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 Boy, don't uh, you know what? Maybe Gary doesn't even know I took it. I was pretty sneaky about it. He probably will just assume he left it somewhere. Oh, look, I have a text. Fuck. He's coming, Ellis. Stop saying that shit. Plus, get out of here. Away from me. Now. <laughs> Oh shit. Well, here we go. Hope you can handle a nine banger. It's been going that way. I got nine and nine rows and the bitch is one. She took my love and now she's on the run. I know that she knows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got nine and nine rows and the bitch is one. I used to be like you, Gary. I had a list of people I wished death upon. I held grudges so tight that they would make me physically ill. I used to be angry like you. But not anymore, Gary. 
I am choosing to make better decisions. First one is destroy the dupa list. Wrong decision, James. <laughs> Hey, not sure if you can hear me, but I just wanted to say your nurse is kind of tasty. She's got a juicy ass. I know she does. She's very nice and has a boyfriend named Mike. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, like fucking shit, but it was worth it. Gary will be going away for a long time for all his crimes. Yeah, about that. What? Hi, James. God, what the goddamn it? Why are you here? Don't be alarmed. I just wanted to thank you, James. Since you destroyed the only evidence of my crimes, the police are letting me walk. How sweet is that? Are you serious? I told you it was a dumb plan. Careful on the roads out there. I heard they are pretty treacherous this time of year. Ah, why'd you let him in here? You are a bad friend. Hey, Ellis. How come nobody talks about VH1 anymore? What you talking about VH1 for? What's wrong with VH1? Of course you liked it. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, you're wrong, by the way. They played Lenny Kravitz all the time. Plus, they were awesome. I remember when they played the uh, Rolling Stones Rock and Roll Circus. Uh, they had John Fugel saying interview Paul McCartney. Uh, he did the last George Harrison interview of all time. Uh, they did Storytellers. Uh, remember Leif Garrett and Behind the Music? VH1 was still playing music when MTV was sucking off Road Rules 5. Shut up about VH1. Fine. I'm excited to go home today. Thanks for picking me up. Yeah, no worries. Uh, you'll be real comfortable. The Infinity has a lot of legroom in that second row. Damn, Ellis. That's the whitest shit you've ever said. Well, what do you want? I'm surrounded by you motherfuckers. Back home. All right, Ellis. I haven't had any weed in three weeks. I am really, really excited. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's kind of cute. Thanks. No, what? No. Like, I just haven't had any since while you were in the hospital. I haven't smoked once. Are you serious? Wow. Like when men have sympathy pains for their pregnant wives? Not like that at all. Okay. Just wanted to see if I could and maybe get my tolerance back down from out of space. Last month, I was eating seven gummies at a time just to get through a Target trip with Jenny. Seven? Yeah, that's... That sounds like a lot, honestly. Turns out it was. But let's focus on what we're doing right here. Oh, right. Um, before we smoke these delicious bowls, let's take a moment to... Let's just smoke them. Let's just smoke them. Wait. Let's have a toast. May these next hits take us to a place so wonderful we never come down again. Word. I do remember the Rick James behind the music, though. That was pretty funny. See, I told you. VH1 was awesome, man. Yeah, too much Rob Thomas smooth. Not enough Janet. Did I mention Lenny Kravitz? You did. How are you feeling, Mr. G Griggs? Almost said Mr. Ellis. I'm starting pretty good right now. I'm going to drift a little bit. Nice and slow. I can feel it in between my eyes. Hey, guess what I saw at the gas station? Your mom going down on some strange dude? Cinnamon Toast Crunch Milk. Okay. They got Fruit Loop Milk, too. So what? I invented that. Invented what? The cereal Cinnamon Toast Crunch? No, the idea of the milk. Bruh. They were splashing milk and cereal since the 1950s. You sure your head is okay from that plow crash? 
seven years ago, me and you were sitting right here getting ripped, and I said, Hey, the milk at the end of the bowl of CTC should be packaged and sold. CTC? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Jesus H. Christ. My point is I think we should start recording our smoke sessions and maybe mine them for ideas. Maybe we could post them on social media. Nobody wants to sit and watch us getting high and talking about jack shit. Okay, well, not with that attitude. Why do you want to be an internet star so bad? I just want to be somebody. Let's put a pin in that, because I don't want to deal with that shit right now. Things are starting to progress progress nicely right now for me. I'm experiencing even more weight in between my eyes. I'm also growing a slight woody. Don't. Don't tell me everything. Full woody now. And this is what you think people want to watch? How long is Jenny out of town on her girls' trip? No, I'm not sure. Who's Jenny? Oh, shit, Ellis. Is this stuff fucking you up? What? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it in your face. You really did lose your tolerance. I'm feeling good, but I guess the painkillers I was taking in the hospital kept my high from taking off like you. Ellis, can you hear me? Rub burn. Yeah. I'm gone. Gone where, Ellis? Somewhere. I'm in a long hallway. There's lots of doors. Each one is a different color. Go inside the red one. There isn't a red one. There's an orange one. Go inside the orange one. Okay. I'm opening the door. What's inside? A dinosaur. Nice. Go inside another door. I'm opening the blue door. What's inside the blue door? A thick woman with brown curly hair. That's your wife. The hallway is now a slide. I'm sliding at an incredible speed. Are you scared? Yup. I still have an erection for some reason. I'm surrounded by lots and images. Think I'm dying. I'm dying. Is it like the boat scene in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? I'm dead. I'll miss you, Ellis. Now I'm on a school bus. Now the school bus is spinning around through space. I think I'm dying. You getting hungry at all? I haven't had a taco in like a month. I'm dead. Now I'm at a zoo. We may have to get DoorDash, though, because I can't drive with my leg and you're in a zoo, apparently. Hmm. Get me a queso burrito with a side of guac and chips. You got it, Ellis. Now I'm on a Ferris wheel. Hey, Benny. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. Look at you. Hating to have to pretend to give a shit about Benny for even a little bit of time. You just want what you want. Oh, really? That sounds cool. Yeah. He's telling you all about some shit that you don't even understand. <laughs> In fact, he's probably asking you a question right now that you have zero desire to answer. Yep. Same. All you want to do is yell, shut up and sell me some weed. <laughs> but you can't. I know, right? I do know. I bet he's talking about some TV show on one of those cheap streamers. The ones that play those old cowboy shows. Oh, sounds cool. Mm, haven't seen it. He's going to keep telling you shit all day. But yeah. but yeah, the reason I called though was that... Nope. Benny said, hold your ass up. I got more stuff to talk about. You're debating if it's even worth it at this point. That sickly ass plant you got in your closet isn't going to be ready anytime soon, so... We're low like a limbo floor. You get that weed. Yeah, cool, Benny. Uh, but real quick, though. Curious if you... Uh, uh, God. Nope. More stuff. Wait. What was that? Are you serious? No, I I never have before, but yeah, of course. Uh-oh, what's burn up Benny got? He has Mario shrooms. Word. Why are we just standing here looking at each other? Wait for the end of the song. I did it all with my mouth. Look at us, we're carpenters. Actually, no, we're plumbers, but it's funny to say that because originally... Don't give a shit, stop talking about it. They were carpenters, okay? Fine. What are we doing, saving a princess or some shit? Uh, yeah. 
and having a great time jumping in green pipes and uh, getting power-ups. It's Mario Land, Mario World, Mario um, Galaxy. It's Mario. Some people say Mario. Those are always the worst. Those people are always the worst. The Marios. Let's go watch Mario in the theater. Yeah, be done with this shit. Look, like when we went into Contra, we had space guns. We don't got no space guns, right? What do we get, like feathers and shit? Uh, you could get a cat suit. It gives you the powers of a cat. You can climb and you got nails and shit. Why would I ever dress up as a cat? Sex! Oh. Now, what the fuck is that? That's a Goomba. What do I do? You step on it and it goes away. Okay. Hey, leave my dog alone, you. Now, what this be? That's a shy guy. They first appeared in Super Mario Bros. 2, which was originally another game in Japan called Doki Doki. Shut up, I don't want your history. Now, how do I kill this mass motherfucker? Uh, fireballs. They come out of your hands. Okay. <laughs> It's not doing anything. Huh, maybe the game's glitching out, huh? Uh, just jump on him, then. Seems a bit aggressive, but all right. You again? Careful now, Ellis. Looks like we have some platforming to do. Follow my lead. All right, Ellis, now you. Huh. Holy cow, Ellis, did you already get a power-up for jumping? Oh, uh, yeah, it's called I'm not a little white bitch who can't jump, right? In the Mushroom Kingdom, we don't see color, Eloigi. Who's Eloigi? You are. That's your name in here. Mine is Rogario. Look what I see. Two full-grown men pretending to be inside a video game. Look, Eloigi, it's a hipster Lakitu. Kill him! <laughs> Watch out, Ellis. It's a bullet bill. Run! <laughs> Quick, jump in that green pipe! <laughs> this is the Minneapolis Police Department. Come out with your hands up! We know you're in the trash can. Yo, where are we now? This must be a warp zone, Ellis. Or Eloigi, I mean. Hmm. I wonder where we'll end up. You have the count of three before we start shooting. Sure doesn't sound like a warp zone kind of thing, right? I'm just going to pop my head out and see where we warp to. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, hey, you're back. Nice. We're in jail. Jail? That doesn't seem like a Mario type of thing, does it? Oh, no, it's not. We fucked up bad this time. Pine, Pine vinyl. vinyl. Pine vinyl. <laughs>